I think I got it. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the second video in this five video one day series. As you can see, I'm wearing the same clothes as the last video, but now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a 360 camera rig using a C-stand and stuff you should already have in your house or apartment so that you can get epic shots like this. All right, what you're gonna need? You're gonna need a coffee lid or something sturdy, a coaster, um, a couple nickels and a quarter, a couple nickels and a quarter, just like so, a hot glue gun, some sticky tack, you can get this at Hobby Lobby for about three bucks, and yeah, that's it. So, what I went ahead and did, and a wine bottle top. So, what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and hot glue gun the wine bottle top to the bottom of the coffee can lid, because it took a little too long for it to, um, for it to cure and get hard. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to hot glue gun several nickels together. All right, first thing we're gonna do, all right, next thing we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and hot glue gun several nickels together, like so. Be careful, this is hot. Kids, if you are trying this, make sure you have your parents' permission. Like so, then we're gonna go ahead and put our quarter on here. that down real nice and gentle and we're gonna wait on it to cure just like so all right now that we've hot gun uh now that we've hot glue gun these nickels and quarter together we are going to hot glue gun actually we are going to use sticky tack you can use a nice uh size piece of it you're gonna flip your coaster over and all you're gonna do is take your lid and you're gonna press down on the coaster so that it's nice and tight. Sticky tack is reusable. So just so you wanna do that. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna take your hot glue gun again and you wanna go around the bottom, I mean the top of the lid, of the wine can lid. And you're gonna take your change, your makeshift lifter, and you wanna hot glue gun that to that as well. And we're gonna put some more glue around the base of it. And now while this is curing, I'm gonna show you how to mount your camera to your C-stand. All right, so now you have your C-stand arm. Um, we are going to mount this to the arm, the gobble's head or whatever it's called to the uh, C-stand arm. And whatever side that your plate is gonna be on, this side of the, um, the mount, should be on that same side. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, whatever side that this straight piece is on, that's the side you want um, your tripod mount on. This is so that it's an even shot across. So now that we got that, you're gonna take your tripod head, left the screw on there, find the smaller hole on this, and we're just gonna tighten it up as tight as we can get it. As tight, as tight, as tight as we can get it. All right, let me shut this door. All right, now we have that. And we're simply gonna mount our camera to the top like normal. Sorry, my phone rang, had to uh, answer that. I had to cut it with an emergency. Uh, but now that we have our camera mounted on to the C-stand, now, next thing is next. Next, uh, well, next thing is that we have our makeshift base plate that we used. Loose change, a wine bottle cap, a coaster, and a coffee can lid. Uh, now we're gonna hot glue gun this to the top of this right here, so that it flows freely all the way around 360. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. that going and we're just gonna smush this down 
episodes. And we're gonna let that cure. Just like that. Move this camera so y'all can see what I'm talking about. There we go, that's, that's a whole lot better. All right, now, as you can see, now, <laughs> as you can see, uh, we have our base plate, we have our camera, and then if you want, you can put a counterweight over here. I don't feel the need to have one, but as you can see, I'm gonna put this up here so you can see as well. But as you can see, the subject doesn't rotate, but the camera does, which is fantastic. Just like so. All right, so also if you want, you can take a, let me see if I can show you. You can take, you can take a dowel and tape your background on it. This is a pink envelope that I just found laying around. That way when you rotate, it always has the same color background. Or you can simply buy a piece of black or white foam pour and do the exact same thing or construction paper. So this is what it will look like all the way around. I know that it doesn't match the, uh, the subject, but you get the picture. And you can simply just turn it. Just like so. There you have it folks. Stay tuned for the next video. And as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And until then, peace.